everyone, it is Didi's Bricks here, and welcome to another LEGO set review video. Now, this review has been long overdue, okay? I got this set about a month ago, it has been sitting in my box ever since. And, uh, I said I was going to make a tripod that could the camera could easily slide up and down, but instead I'm like, eh, screw it. So, the camera level I'm at right now will be used to look at the first floor, and then my tripod I use second floor, and then I'll lift the tripod a little bit more with extra pieces to see the third floor in the roof, but I'll do the best with what I can, but obviously it can't fit all in frame, so first we're going to take a look at the minifigures, and then we'll take a look at the build. Alright, well first things first, this is Cole Obsidian from Thanos' Black Order. See, now I'm not a huge fan of the Black Order, but I will admit this is a great big fig. Uh, it's got a brand new mold for the center here, I believe, yeah, so he's got like his shoulder pad here. It's a newer head, Lego always makes amazing big figs. Um, and then his weapon here is, like, you take one of these out of his hand, and then he can, like, like, swing it around or something. Um, but in the movie, I remember he had, like, some sort of, like, big claw thing or something, I don't know. Um, but it is a great big fig, but, I mean, I don't really ever plan on using it for anything. Uh, but great printing on the front and everything. Um, but that's Cole Obsidian. This is the only big fig in the set. Then here we have Ebony Maw, or as Tony Stark called him, Squidward. <laughs> Which, to be honest, kind of does look like Squidward, just, you know, without a nose. Um, this figure looks great. The head is really creepy to me. It uses that, like, uh, what color is this? It's like a really, really light blue, but with, like, a tiny hint of green. Like, it looks like a mint green to me is what I'm going to call it. Um exclusive torso exclusive leg printing for him and then he comes with these yellow power blast pieces which i've only ever seen in this set which i'm actually kind of glad i got these because i could use them for like a comic book shocker now or something um now i would just have to get yellow lightning bolts for comic book electro but it is nice to get those and then the way those work we all know by now you just push and then they shoot out um but uh it is a great minifigure, but like I said, I'm not huge on the Black Order. I had no idea who the hell they were when Infinity War came out. Some people knew who the Black Order was. I didn't, but I was like, oh, we got Squidward, and then we got the big guy from freaking Lilo and Stitch. Up next is Iron Spider, which is one of the main reasons why I got this set. Like, I actually had forgotten that this set came with Iron Spider. Um, but they did great on the printing for it and everything, but... I do think the arms could have been made a little bit better, and the head could have been changed. I know the head looks similar, but they could have put extra printing around the eyes to maybe make it look more robotic. Um, but then he also has these white, excuse me, uh, web power blasts, which again, you just push them and they shoot out. Um, but if we take those off, we can look and see this really cool. Uh, spider logo on there, and then arm printing, which kind of looks like the arms from Spider-Man Homecoming, but just with more gold, and then the legs have printing, but they're not dual molded, it's red on the sides, and then just blue on the front, you know, and then the arms use that Outrider back piece, which I really wish that Lego would just make it in gold, it'd be so much easier for everybody, <laughs> and then there's the arms, and then the head is the same head from Spider-Man Homecoming, and then there's the back torso printing with a really nice, uh, bigger version of the red spider, but Overall, it is a great minifigure. I just wish, uh, maybe one, it wasn't in such an expensive set, and uh, two, um, maybe they did better on the arms and gave us a gold uh, Outrider back piece. And then for Iron Man, this is Iron Man Mark 50, or his nanotech armor. Um, I already have this armor, but it was cool to get another one, and this one actually finally comes with blue power blast pieces. I finally have some of these like the blue flames and everything because they give you this accessory kind of like i wouldn't call it a shield but like a like a i don't know a blast wave or something and then this looks like some sort of laser that he can shoot out and then he comes with this thing that you attach to his feet to make it look like he's flying and then he's got the fire on his hands for like the arc reactor uh or repulsor rays or whatever repulsor blasts um but if we take those off you can see that his hands are just regular dark red along with his arms and then the torso and legs aren't exclusive to this anymore and then the helmet has been used and then it this was the first year where they introduced those new head that new head for tony stark with the 
uh, blue, like, um, like, computer screen in front of his face. And then there's just, like, a regular smirky type face for him. Um, but not much else to say about Mark 50, but, um, other than, you know, I'm very excited I finally got blue power glass pieces. And here we have Doctor Strange, which is the main reason why I got this set. I needed, one, I needed a building for Carnage Origin City. I needed one more building. And then also Doctor Strange is super cool. I needed his hair for Craven the Hunter, as you guys already saw. Um, but it does come with more orange Power Blast pieces, but I have so many of those, so I'm just not even going to talk about them. Um, the torso and legs are not exclusive. You can get those in the, I think it's called Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown from the actual Doctor Strange movie set. Along with the head. Uh, but the hair is exclusive to this set. It's that black mold. It's like, uh, what mold is this from? I don't know. But it's got white on the sides, and then it's mainly black. And then he does have an alternative expression. He looks more angry. But his top cape here is actually made of the older fabric -y material so that it doesn't, like, bend everywhere. But I wish it, I kind of wish it was made out of this just so that you know, if I were to put him in a bag or something, it wouldn't crease or anything like that. So I'm trying my best to keep it in good condition. And then this is the newer cape uh, design. And then there's the back printing. Um, but it is a pretty good minifigure. And then you have the Eye of Agamotto necklace around his neck. Um, but it is a great minifigure. Um, I don't know. It's just really weird me of me reviewing this about a month after I got this set. So I already know everything about these figures and you know it's just weird of me reviewing this late like i cannot review sets late from now on because i don't know i'm not just as uh, i'm not as excited as i as i was when i first got it you know what i mean but uh now let's take a look at the build okay so starting at the bottom here i'm going to detach this because it is detachable and it attaches into two holes over there and i think i think you can also attach it over on this side you can you can attach it like over here so then if you were to open it up like this then it's over here if you wanted to or you could take it out and then you could put it in here and then bend it this way so it's like a corner street buildings you know um but those are the really the only places you could put it but this little piece is actually this little like corner area here is pretty cool actually um we have a sticker here. It says New York Bulletin, Crime Floods the Streets, and that is actually a sticker of Daredevil right there, believe it or not. The only reference to Daredevil we've ever gotten in Lego, and I hope maybe the next step is actually a minifigure. And then we have three of the same sticker printed, where'd it go, of a uh, newspaper all tied up in there. It was just going like that. Then we have a trash can that has a bone in it, and then a pizza slice, a slice of pizza next to it. Um, we have an, like, a box that's, like, being folded, but it's, like, a stack of, like, trash, I guess. And then a spider web with Peter Parker's phone attached to it, but other than that, that's that little corner piece. But the Daredevil sticker is my favorite sticker in this entire set. That's another reason why I got it. Now, as for the first floor, the detailing on this building is amazing. I do not regret buying this set at all. I do regret not buying it when it first came out. I did not really care much about the Infinity War sets. Um... But now I have, like, I have this one. I had the Outrider Dropship Attack. But those are the only two Infinity War sets that I actually ever owned. Um, but the detailing on it is great. It uses these, like, gold bars of gold pieces, but in light gray. Um, we have a sticker on the door that says 177A, because the Sanctum is on 177A Bleecker Street. Um, and then we have some very nice windows here. It is nice to get more of these window pieces. And then this kind of looks like a balcony, but it's kind of, it's really not. And we have pillars here, and uh, the door does open, and then, you know, you can close it. Over here, we have, you know, it's kind of plain, but more windows, more windows. There's a play feature with that one you'll see uh, later. And then there's a sticker of a spider web here, because basically this half is Peter Parker's apartment. Um, and only this window and this window are, like, the only windows that actually open in this set. And then on this side, we have a sticker here that has a picture, it's, like, brick wall, it says Street 110. And then a portal leading to a, uh, part that's inside of the building. It's a really cool Easter egg. Like, it leads to a picture of the Ancient One. And then there's a sticker inside that is a portal leading to the picture of the Street 110 sign. And then over here, we have a Spider-Man logo, a spider web, 
web design classes call 131090 and then like one person took one of the pieces of slips and then it's a heart with the name Liz inside of it and then on the back we have this really cool build for a fire escape I love this this is like the best fire escape I've ever seen uh, and then there's the Blicker Street sticker and then this sticker says open you know and you can open the door it's Pepe's Pizza and then there's a play feature here where if you push this the window actually pops out and like blows up so I think that's really cool, but it is nice to get, you know, Pepe's Pizza. Um, I wonder if it's any good. <laughs> and then uh, we'll look up at the third floor in a second. But if we open this up here and we take a look inside, we'll start over here. So this is Pepe's Pizza. There's the wood-burning pizza oven, I think. Uh, and then there's the paddle, you know, where you slide the pizza in. And then this, I don't know what exactly this is, but this is the thing where when you push it, it uh, pushes the window out. And then there's like a little uh, cash register printed piece there. And then there's a pizza printed piece. And then there's a sticker over there with a the menu. It says $1 for a pizza slice, $1 for a burrito, and $1 for a burger and fries. Which actually isn't a bad deal, you know? Um, I'm trying not to put indents or creases in this new box of mine. So I'm just trying to paint it really quick. And then, of course, what LEGO Marvel set isn't complete without a fire extinguisher? And then over here for the Sanctum, we've got an axe and then a golden sword with a sticker that has, like, some sort of, like, like ancient writing of some sort. I have no idea. And then we have, like, I think relics, because this one's just an empty box, but it's a cup with a chain attached. There's a very nice, uh, like, sofa chair build where I love how LEGO in integrates actual chair pieces into the chairs. And then, obviously, there's a doorknob for if you open the door. And you can close it. Um, not much else going on with the first floor there. But as for the second floor, you can actually kind of see it from here. Uh, what does happen if I put my put it on the other tripe? Oh, that's actually pretty good. So we'll do that. Um, so for the second floor, I kind of have to do it at a distance here. Because, okay, what if I put it down like that? I kind of have to do it at a distance. I apologize. Um... But in here, we have Peter's room, where there's a sticker there, which has, like, a map of locations. And then there's pictures of, like, uh, uh, fugitives. And then it's, like, 241 pizza or something. There's a spider web. This is, like, a little mini lamp, I think. And then there's a sticker piece down here, which is the only reference to his homemade suit ever in the Lego sets. It's a, you know, design for his homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, and then he's got a keypad piece there with a sticker computer, uh, which is, you can move, and I don't know why it's not focusing on it. Hold on. There we go. Um, and he's got these, like, vials here. I have no idea what that's about. I'm just trying to get it to focus for you guys. Um, so there's that. And then he's got, like, this really cool dresser with these drawers. And then over here... Um, there's boxes, and this box has a sticker on top that says Pete's Stuff, and then it's, like, taped closed. And then over here on this side, uh, we have a bookshelf with a, like, golden trophy up there, and then a stack of books. And then, like I said, there's that portal sticker that leads to the Street 110 sign. Then there's the picture of the Ancient One, and then I think that's a Wi-Fi router or something. We have a spear, and I think this is the staff of the Living Tribunal. And then we have a sticker on this piece on the floor, which is, like, some, like, sort of spell or magic thing. And then inside this chest, we have these uh, two dagger pieces, which it was nice to get more of those. And then the play feature with this is if you turn it this way, it is kind of hard to see. Like, you'll have to look through that window there. It actually blows the window up, and then it reveals the time stone there. The time stone is hidden behind there, and you just turn that back, and this goes back in just like that. Um, am I forgetting anything else on the second floor? I don't believe I am. No, I'm not. So now for the third floor. This is where it gets a little bit difficult. Okay. Now, is there a way I can reel? Kind of lift it? Maybe? Maybe not? Okay, I guess not. There's a sticker, uh, here. Hold on. Maybe I can... I can do this. Come on. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to lift up the phone, but I will try to be as non-shaky as possible. So, um... 
There's a sticker over there that says, it's a picture of classic Captain America suit saying, I want you to stay in school. Um, right there. And then there's like, Peter has a test, it's an A+. More pictures of fugitives. A sticker of a spider web. There's a pizza slice on the floor. And then his bed is made with those newer 2x3 um, tiles. And then the, I like the design for the pillow. I couldn't even come up with a good pillow design. And then those right there are from this web. If you push this down, it actually blows that window up. And then to put that back on, you just push this back in and push that back down. And then there you go. Good as new. And then over here, there's a little red piece. Well, you might be wondering, well, what is that for? And I believe the lever's on the other side of the outside here. Because there's a lever, there's a play feature where if I put, I'll just put Iron Man there for now because he has nothing. If I like put him there, somehow there's a lever. And if I pull it, it activates a trap door and then he falls down to the next floor in case like he needs to get somewhere fast, you know what I mean? And then you just lock that back up by pressing the lever back in. It is kind of hard to show from this angle, but I did the best I could and I, I apologize if it was if it sucked. And then over on this floor, we have another bookshelf with books and then there's actually a skull there. And then a sticker of an envelope and then a sticker of an envelope with like dust on the corner or something. And then a, another relic, I believe, and then another sticker, which I think is another spell thing. I believe so. And then, yeah, guess what? You're, you're never going to guess. You're never. Another bookshelf with a glass and then a gold cup and then more books. And then that window piece for the Sanctum is actually a printed one. So if we close this up here, that's actually a printed piece, which I absolutely love that. But the way they did this is this bends up, and you know, there's that. And then these actually um, are supposed to whoo, bend down um, like that. It's a really cool technique that they used, and I absolutely love it. Um, but the way I do is I close it, press it in about that far. And then over here, again, this window can open. And then, whoop, didn't really do that all the way. And then there's that spider web where it blows up the window. In case he needs to get out easily, and then there's the fire escape for him. Um, then there's that web sticker, and then this piece, this play feature up here, is what you're supposed to do. Is you take this web piece here, which they actually use one of those big long rope pieces, but instead it's in white, which actually I approve because his webs are pretty thin when you look at them. But then again, then you can't really hold them in different places. But what you do is you're supposed to attach it to his hand, and then it comes out of this hole. And then there is a water, like, barrel, I believe that's what that is on top. And then if you twist it up really tight, it holds it up there. But then there's a lever, and if you push it, then it knocks him down. And what he's supposed to do is the weight of it uncoils the water barrel, and then he just zip lines all the way down. And then if you wanted him to go back up, just twist it back up. Just rotate it. And then eventually they get all the way back up there. But they tell you to like leave a little bit of it out, with, so that's what I do. And I'm actually kind of glad that it worked on the first try about halfway because I was scared that I'd have to just pull them down the entire way. But no, you push that lever back in. And then some great detailing there on the roof. And then nice like fence kind of pieces up there. And then to look at the roof, just pick it up. There's that web, and then you just twist it, and that's how tight it'll get. It's just attached there, and then it's got four of these, like, pole pieces, which I don't really like how loose they are, because they can break off pretty easily. And then this is pretty wobbly, but if you ignore that, then I guess it's fine. Um, and then I think these are, like, smokestacks on top of the roof. Um, but, you know, LEGO did the best they could, and or they went beyond the best they could with this. Um, and tons of play features that kids will absolutely love. And I bet, uh, I hope that a lot of people were able to get this set because it is a great one, in fact. And I do not, oh, well, that works. That keeps it all in frame. And I do not regret buying it at all. And it will be in the background of the movie as counting as a building for you guys. So, cool little Easter egg. But that's really it for this set but overall i love it it's a great set and i think 
that I definitely should have gotten it back when it first came out. But then again, if I did, it probably wouldn't still be put together because all of my Age of Ultron sets, oh, they 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 got destroyed, like demolished, like they are no longer put together, and none of the figures are either. So I am kind of glad I didn't get it when it first came out. Otherwise, the figures would be oh, well, the figures would be sorted. Or I would have lost him and maybe messed up Doctor Strange's top cape or something, but the building would not still be standing. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> um, but I did hang on to the box so I could talk about some more of the details. Because uh, I usually cut up the front of the box, but I don't even know if this will fit, dude. But it is Lego Ages 8 to 14, number is 76108, the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. Oh, that's this set. <laughs> Comes with 1,004 pieces. And then Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Iron Spider-Man, Pole of Sitting, Ebony Maw. Um, and then on the back, like, I'm not really showing the box. I can't fit it in. The, I cannot fit it. Um, but I love that angle they did for a cool picture of uh, Doctor Strange in the Sanctum with light shining through. That, that was pretty cool. Um, but, or if you wanted to, another thing I forgot to mention was if you wanted to... You could take the long spider web from up top and just wrap the Cold Obsidian and Ebony Maw together. Um, so yeah, you could definitely use it for play fe battle play features if you wanted to. Um, but that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this set? Hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications every time I post a video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.